Hey, hey everyone, my name is Alison. <clears throat> I am planning to do a, U a regular YouTube vlog for people with disabilities, which will be especially helpful to people who feel as they are suffering from mental health issues. The activities which we will be discussing will also help improve your mental health and physical well-being. Although before taking part in any physical exercise, it is always advisable to speak to your doctor if you have physical disabilities to check whether in your case activity will be very helpful. I, Alison, is a disabled person myself and I'm currently studying with the Open University Sports and Fitness Department. When I was a kid, I loved doing sports. I, like many other young people, I was in the school hockey team, but in addition I was a canoeist, canoeing all around Scotland on the canals and ended up becoming involved in professional training for a guy on Butte canoe club. During my first ever marathon race, I amazed myself and many others by becoming the under-14 Scottish champion. I was also invited to do canoeing for the British Paddle Ability Squad down in Nottingham and almost got picked for the 2004 Paralympics. Unfortunately, after this, this event happened, which completely changed my life in a negative manner because I was injured in a hockey game which sadly made me and my family aware that I had an ongoing severe genetic disorder with the alignment of the bones in my feet and ankles. Time went on. This health condition stopped me from taking part in activities that I loved and I became depressed. And the lack of physical activity and exercise and losing a positive view of my future caused a deter deter deterioration of my mental health, which the canoeing and sports had actually been helpful to, me, to deal with. For a number of years I avoided exercise because I felt so depressed about being a unable to continue with any sporting background, which I loved and gave so many much joy and purpose in my life, mostly because I wasn't sure of what I could do now do. However, a couple of years ago I started to take part in sports again. I had started to study a sports course of interest with the Open University and was told from the work I was doing that I didn't need to stop altogether and that actually doing sports carefully, monitored and planned sporting activities designed for people with disabilities would actually help my mental health. This may sound far-fetched, but because any form of regular activity which is thought through and adapted if you have any particular health issues, health to activate the endorphins in your brain. These endorphins can improve your mood. As well as improving your health, which is why I felt I wasn't wanting to share this with other people who might be similar to me and may feel there is no point to carrying on 
with normal life. Activities, when in fact the opposite, that exercise helps you get better is usually the case. And with me, I, right now, I'm involved with walking netball, I do a lot of swimming, and I, I'll be adding exercises in to help everyone's arms and legs. Any exercises that I'll put into this video, I will adapt it to help disabled people. Thank you very much. See you next week.